I just just recently bought this old Craftsman uh, belt and disc sander combo for twenty five dollars on off of Facebook. Yeah, the only thing is, it was missing some things. It was missing this dust collector, dust collecting chute, and the dust collecting chute for the disc sander as well. So what I did, I I manually uh, fabricated these. You can see there's a piece of plywood here. It's actually screwed onto here, and there's a round disc in here that fits into a round, like you know, inlet in there. There's like a round recess in the cast iron, and I, I glued a piece of round wood to the inside of this plywood so it fits right in there. And this is made out of just cardboard tubes that I have. There are these four inch cardboard tubes that, uh, backdrops come with come in uh, the old paper backdrops used to come in these. and uh, here, let's see if I can get this one off of here that's all pretty good well I'll leave that on that's a piece of PVC pipe that I sanded so it wedges into this hole here for the back of that disc sander and uh, all I gotta do is take my hose and I could Put it in this part or put it in this part depending on what part of the sander i'm using i guess i would love to combine both of these into one but it might reduce suction on one part you know or the other and underneath here this whole plate here was missing that covers the front of the disc it's hard to see it but there's a, a plate under here. I mean, you can sort of see the edge of it right where the screw is. This whole plate was missing from the front of this thing. So I, I got screws from those and made this out of a piece of like particle. Actually, I made it out of the same stuff I made this out of. This uh, press board or whatever you want to call it. Because uh, this had like a chunk of... No, it's just like a chunk of wood on it that wasn't, didn't look very good. So I figured I'll put that on there. Because now when, uh, if I raise this vertically, this will have like a table to rest things on. And I countersunk these, of course, so this is flat here. And, uh, yeah, so far so good. I need to tighten the belt. Because the belt's a little, a little loose, but it runs okay. I'll start it up here and you'll see what I mean. pad on here so that I can use hook and loop discs on here instead of having the self-adhesive. I gotta admit though, I think uh, changing sandpaper on this thing's a pain in the butt. You have to take this pull table off, which there's like a screw over here and then this whole thing slides out and then uh, and then this thing is in the way. The uh, That plate that I replaced, that's in the way. You have to take that off to get the disc like fully off and uh tracking on here is a pain you have to unlock these and then turn these with a half inch wrench and the tracking is very sensitive i mean like I, I set the tracking before and it was fine and now it's off again already but it's okay it's still it works fine <coughs> i'll show you the i'll show you the tracking make sure this wire doesn't get by the sandpaper there, I gotta plug it in somewhere else. But yeah, this is just like a temporary, it's not even gonna stay here. It's just, you know, so I can plug it in quick.
The other thing I don't like about this is to change the belt, there's no like quick release lever like on the smaller, you know, you see like the smaller bench top ones that have the four inch belt, there's like a little flip lever that releases the tension. There is nothing like that on here. So to take the belt off, I have to loosen both of these things. Like loosen, there's a there's a cam on these that, that like that's fatter on one side and it's thinner on the other. So when you push it, it moves this back and forth. Well, you're gonna have to loosen the tracking as much on each of these, and then take the belt off, then put the belt on, and then redo the whole thing. Oh boy, that's a little bit of a pain to change the belt. But I'm hoping you know these belts are pretty. I mean these are pretty aggressive belt. I don't think I'm going to use this for much more than like rough sanding. So uh, hopefully I won't have to change the belt that often. And uh, it did come with a bunch of extra belts here. These two, they all seem like the same grit though. These are big uh, 6 inch by 40. Yeah, there's 60. I think this one is also 60. That one's 60, 60, and what is this one? This one might be, holy crap, 36, Jesus. Yeah, I think it's 30. I think this one is uh, 36 grit. See if I can see it with the camera there. Yeah. 36 grit, Jesus. That's a super aggressive disc. I mean, uh, grit. So yeah, there it is, and uh, I cleaned this up. But still, for $25, my God, that was a deal of the century here. 25 bucks for the sander, not bad. I'm liking it. It's a big uh, upgrade from my little Ryobi uh, four inch by six inch disc. All right, just wanted to show this thing. Take care, guys.